I believe the biggest reason for why you can't achieve your greatness in life is because you have this self-defeating mindset. And I know what it's like to think negatively of myself because I did it for so many years. So I'm going to help you to break that self-defeating mindset. I have three stories that will inspire you to change the way you think about yourself because I believe you were meant to do great things in life. I'm excited. Let's go. Next cue. Welcome to Next Q. My name is Steven Garner and I'm going to share with you my direction for your life. I call it my cues for living a great life. I believe that everybody was meant to achieve great things in life. So today I'm going to share with you my cues in a form of three stories that will help you to destroy that self-defeating mindset. Booker T. Washington in 1872, he walked 500 miles to Hampton Normal Agricultural Institute in Virginia. Along the way, he worked odd jobs. He did whatever he needed to do to survive. When he arrived, he convinced the staff to allow him to attend the school and work as a janitor so that he can pay his tuition. Listen, the first thing I want you to take from this story is that your life is a journey. And in order to get to your destination, you need to destroy the obstacle man. The obstacle man will find a way to get in the way. Now you can imagine Booker T walking, um, being hungry at times, trying to find a way. We're talking about a time when it wasn't easy for black people. Nowadays, some of the people I know won't even travel for five minutes. They won't even walk for five seconds. What was it that was driving Booker T. Washington to Hampton Normal Agricultural Institute? I mean, we're talking about a 500 mile walk. He destroyed every obstacle in his path. And here's how you destroy your obstacles. You have to have a mission. You have to have a purpose. You have to have a why behind your walk. Then the distance doesn't matter. The difficulties don't matter. And this is how you destroy the obstacle man in your life. See yourself as traveling this road and you're walking and you're crawling and you're doing whatever it takes to get to where you want to be because what's driving you is your mission, is your purpose. Do not listen to the obstacle man. The obstacle man will tell you there is no way, you can't make it. Listen to the second story. Two men decided to build a house, the same style of house, in the same neighborhood right next to each other. They were so excited. They said, we're gonna have a party. We're gonna invite everybody from the neighborhood. We're gonna have this great time. And so one man decided, you know what? I'm gonna change the style of bricks. So he went down the street to the local masonry. He picked out uh, this style of brick called little negative brick. And so he brought back all these bricks and he built his house. And when they both finished, they did just like they said. We're gonna invite everybody from the neighborhood. So people started showing up. Everybody went to one man's house, but not the other. So the man who had no visitors, he was outside, he was angry, he was disappointed. So this little old lady was walking down the street. She can clearly see that he was not happy. She asked him, what's bothering you, sir? Why are you so disappointed? And he said, well, nobody wants to come inside of my house. And she looked at his house for a second. She said, oh, I know why. She said, you use little negative bricks to build your house. Here's my point that I wanna share with you. The little negative bricks represents the negative thoughts that we have about ourselves. All the self-doubt, all the self-hate, all the disbelief in our abilities because we have those little negative bricks and we have built this house. And you know what type of house that we have really built? It's a prison house. And so when people, see your house from the outside, it is telling them not to come inside. Stop building this negative house. Tell yourself that you can, you will. Tell yourself that you can achieve the impossible. Stop using those little negative bricks to build your house. Listen to this last story. True story. Long time ago, I used to work with this guy who used to ask me to give him a ride after work to a store so that he can cash his personal check I said, no problem. He didn't have any transportation, so I would take him to the store. He would cash the check, get money. Next day, he would ask me to do the same thing, go to the same store, 
but in a different location. I would argue with him, why don't we just go to the store up the street? We went there last time. He said, no, we can't do that. We have to go to the same store, but a different location. So he would go to that store, write his personal check. He would withdraw about $25, okay? So he would ask me to do it again, but this time we couldn't go to that other store in that new location. We had to go to a different store in a different location but it was the same company. I said, okay, hold on, man, what's going on here? So what I learned is that he was writing this check for money he didn't have, but he was afraid that if he continued to go to that same store, they would discover that he didn't have the money that he was trying to withdraw and he would get denied. Here's my point that I wanna to make to you. Stop withdrawing money that you don't have in your intellectual bank account. And what I mean by this is simply this. If you're not making positive deposits into your mind, you're gonna have a bankrupt mindset. You're going to be broke. And when you try to draw from the currency that should be in your mental bank account, that should be positive thoughts, you're not going to be able to withdraw anything because you haven't deposited anything into your mind that is positive. Thank you for watching. Listen, I wanna be transparent and vulnerable for a moment. When I was much younger, I considered taking my life. That's right, I considered ending my life. But there were people who were there for me and they disrupted that process. They helped me to believe that I could do great things in life. And that's why I'm doing this. And so I'm gonna use everything in my creative arsenal, even invite other people to encourage you to believe that your life is a gift and that you were meant to do great things in life. So if you haven't done so already, I wanna encourage you to subscribe, like, and share it with other people. So take your cues from me and continue to live a great life. Next cue, I love you.